What up, Cowboys Nation? It's your boy, DMV. We just got waxed by the Eagles 23-9. It wasn't necessarily a waxing. It was actually a competitive game for a, a good portion of the game, which it probably shouldn't have been in the first place. But the only thing that pisses me off is the fact that the Eagles even gave us hope. The fact that we were leading at halftime for the first time all year. You know, I thought maybe, just maybe we pull off the upset. And even though I picked us to get destroyed, we somehow fought. And, you know, there were a couple of guys out there that really, really uh, showed that they wanted to play. Uh, a couple of them showed up in the secondary. Uh, Diggs, uh, Anthony Brown, Donovan Wilson uh, on the defensive side. I thought Randy Gregory uh, really showed a lot of effort out there. I thought Tank played pretty good for the most part today. Uh, other than that, though, guys like Tyrone Crawford, uh, Antoine Woods, you guys just pretty much got destroyed all day, did not play well at all. Uh, the lineback the linebackers didn't look really good. Um, and maybe that's because the defensive line was getting blown off the ball by a makeshift offensive line for the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know. And, you know, or maybe – Maybe guys didn't play well. Maybe Carson Wentz, who turned the ball over four times, really just kept us in a game that we probably shouldn't have been in. Uh, offensively, Ben DiNucci is garbage. I don't want to hear them try and sell me on him ever again. Quite honestly, anybody that they try and sell, sell to me at this point, I'm not going to believe a word that this front office says. They're garbage. Everybody's garbage for trying to sell us on this kid who can't play. It is what it is. He can't play. He can't play at this level, at least. Uh, I thought Zeke ran hard tonight. I thought the offensive line blocked uh, as well as they could for, for, for a guy who just couldn't play. They might as well play Cedric Wilson at quarterback. Uh, we would have had a better shot at it because he couldn't complete any passes. Uh, Amari and CD, I don't even know. Like, like my boy Elton said on our live stream, I don't even know why they even caught the plane ride there. They might as well have just had some practice squad guys playing receiver. And it would have been the same result. If Andy Dalton was quarterback in this team, uh, that was a question that was asked by LaDonna on the live stream. It probably would have been much of the same. It probably just would have been more turnovers. We're not a good football team. We're not coached too well. Uh, we're not owned well. The football operations is terrible. Um, we're just not. We, I, I, I'm. I mean, I'm trying to come up with things that we're good at. The only thing that we're good at is being bad. All right. Um, it was refreshing to see Zach Martin actually out there and doing a pretty good job. Uh, he did well. Uh, I thought Biotis did well at the center position. Uh, Connor Williams had, had had some flashes in there as well on the offensive line. So the offensive line really isn't as bad right now as it had been, which is possibly a good sign with Dalton coming back against the Steelers next week. But we got a we got Steelers, sorry ass, who got to play up against T.J. Watt uh, uh, across from him. It's a really tough time to be a Cowboys fan. But you know what, guys? We're going to get through it. We've gotten through uh, times like this before. So we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. But right now, we lost 23-9 to a sorry-ass Philadelphia Eagles team. And I was hoping that they really put us out of our misery, and they didn't. Um, but we'll see where we go from there. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, subscribe. Hit that bell each time I come out with content. All right, guys. Peace.